But the righteousness which is of faith, this is verse 6, speaketh on this wise, Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring Christ again from the dead, to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we learn here that if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we express that faith by calling upon the name of the Lord. Now, a question that came up when I sort of uh, alluded to this topic when I talked about salvation, you know, and asking for salvation does not make it uh, works. We can ask for something. It's still a gift. But one thing I didn't really clarify then is, you know, we call upon the Lord, but this calling upon the Lord does not necessarily have to be an audible or an outward prayer or a prayer in a certain position, you know, closing your eyes, having your hands together. It doesn't have to be a prayer that other men can hear. I do believe we have to call upon the Lord. So it's not just something you say to yourself. It's something that you say um, to God. So we can see there that we call upon the Lord to be saved. But this calling upon the Lord does not necessarily have to be audible to other men. Now let's just go to Luke 6.45. It says here, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Now, my position on this topic is I believe that if you believe something, you will say it. You may not say it audibly, but you'll say it in your mind. And calling upon the Lord is something you say to God in your heart, whether or not people can hear it or not. And the reason why I'm addressing this is because some people take the position that you can believe something without saying it. And I don't believe that's possible. So they say, well, you know, salvation is believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, but if you have to say it, if you have to call upon the Lord, then that's something additional. Now, I believe they are one and the same thing. And why? Because, because I believe your faith manifests in words. You speak, you bring forth that which is, uh, for the, uh, sorry, for of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. So when we look at Romans 10, these are not two things that are happening. I believe it's just two angles of the same thing. If you believe on Jesus Christ, you will confess it with your mouth. So in that, uh, the way I think we should rightly interpret Romans 10 is it's both the same thing. You believe and you call because when you believe, you will call because believing is calling uh, on the Lord Jesus Christ. So faith is manifested by words. I don't think it's possible to believe something without even speaking the words to yourself. Now think about that for a second. Try, just try it. Try to believe something without saying something in your head. You can't even believe that you can believe something without words, without saying those things in your head. Okay, does that make sense? I mean, try and believe, try and believe anything. Try and believe like that, that the staircase is white or the highlighting on the map is orange. Try and believe, you know, try and believe anything without actually saying it to yourself. You can't. Because your faith, you see your faith by the words that you're speaking inside your head. And that's why when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll confess it with your mouth. Maybe not audibly, but I think, you know, the analogy there is you, you say those words, but you say them in your mind. And if somebody wants to confess their faith to somebody else, they'll confess it with their mouth because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks it. So I don't think you can believe something without saying the words because otherwise you wouldn't even know what you believe. Does that make sense? Like, how could you believe something without the words? Because you couldn't even perceive what you're believing without the words. And I had a thought here I wanted to show you in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 13, that is talking about praying, but I think the principle is there. It says here in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 13, Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, 
but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit and I will sing with the understanding also. So what is he saying there? He's saying if I'm praying and I'm praying in a language I don't understand, then my spirit is praying, but I have no idea what I'm praying. Right? So I know I'm praying, but I don't know what I'm praying. And he says, what, what do I want to do? I want to pr- I'm going to pray with the spirit and I'll pray with the understanding also. So what I'm getting at here is, you know, you can believe something. You might know that you believe, but then how do you know that you believe? You, you might know that you be- you're believing something, but then how do you even know what you're believing I- without words? It's, it's almost like this. It's like your spirit is believing, but your understanding is unfruitful. And if you don't understand that you believe on Jesus Christ, how can you truly believe on Jesus Christ? Anyway, a couple, a couple of thoughts there. So I think that is why I do not believe that calling upon the Lord is something separate from salvation. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will call upon the Lord Jesus Christ because I don't think you can believe on Jesus Christ without doing that because it will manifest as words in your mind and if it comes out of you it'll manifest by words audibly through your mouth so what was the point i was trying to make there you know some people will say well i don't know whether i believe because i don't i, I didn't like i didn't pray audibly because you know people say you need to do the sinner's prayer and you need to call upon the lord but i, I didn't do that you know I, did, I don't remember a time when i prayed audibly or prayed with somebody so am i do i actually believe well no because you can believe without uh, doing a public prayer or, or, or an audible prayer, but I do believe in your mind you will call upon the Lord um, using words because you can't believe otherwise. 